A brother and a sister learned all about hot air balloons. They learned how to set them up. They learned how to fly them. And they learned what makes a hot air balloon fly. When the air gets hot inside the balloon, it rises up above the cold air. That's what makes a hot air balloon fly. If the air gets too cold, then the balloon starts to go down. That's why there's a burner in the balloon. It's there so they can make more hot air. After a long fight in their hot air balloon, they decided to land. That's enough flying for today. The sun went down and it was time to go home. The next day, the brother and sister went out to fly their balloon again. But this time, they didn't want to fly with hot air. Instead, they wanted to fly with cold air. They tried to get the balloon to fly, but that's not how it works. And the balloon sank down to the ground. The sun went down, and it was time to go home. The next day, they went out to fly the balloon again, but they still didn't want to fly with hot air. Instead, they wanted to fly with sand. They tried to get the balloon to fly, but that's not how it works. And the balloon sank down to the ground. The sun went down, and it was time to go home. The next day, they went out to fly their balloon again, but they still didn't want to fly with hot air. Instead, they wanted to fly with water. They tried to get the balloon to fly, but that's not how it works. And the balloon sank down into the water. If someone wants to fly a hot air balloon, it doesn't work with cold air. It doesn't work with sand, and it doesn't work with water. But if the balloon is filled with hot air, then the balloon can fly high in the sky. Flying in a hot air balloon is kind of like living the gospel of Jesus Christ. If we want to be happy, then we must choose to follow God's commandments. It doesn't work if we try to make ourselves happy with lying and stealing. And it doesn't work if we try to make ourselves happy by hurting others. That's not how it works. But if we keep the commandments and try to follow Jesus Christ, then our hearts will be filled with the love of God. Then God can lift our hearts up and we will be filled with joy. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. Did you know we create lesson plans and activity pages to go with our videos every week? They're made by a professional teacher just for kids. Tell your teacher. Tell your mom. They're on our website. Latter-day Kids!